Let me show you how to change your first layers from looking like this to this. Auto calibration is starting to become a stock standard feature for most 3D printers, but unfortunately, sometimes it doesn't work. One of the big problems with auto calibration is the automatic Z offset. This is a very important setting to get right as having it set too high or too low can lead to a complete print failure or even damaging your build plate. I have two Ender 3 V3KEs and up until recently they were working great. But now one of them has just decided to not want to calibrate the Z offset properly anymore. Instead of having to retweet the offset before every print, Creality Print actually has a solution already built into the software. But before we get to that, none of this will work if your hardware is loose or off axis. So to start off, get into every nook and cranny of your printer and make sure your screws are tightened correctly. Most of them will need to be really tight, but there are some that you need to leave loose. So just keep that in mind while you're going through this process. Also, remember to check that your nozzle is completely clear of any filament that is oozed out as this will throw off your offset. So now that we've confirmed our hardware is good, our nozzle is clean and our screws are tight, we can move on to the software. So using Creality Print 5.1, go to Edit, select Advanced, and then you'll see this lovely Z offset option. This setting adds an additional offset onto what is calibrated by the printer, and it uses the same settings every print. So you should only have to do this once, at least for a while. Now this number is going to vary, but there's a good chance that your nozzle will be too high, especially if you're using a textured PEI build plate. So if the number is a minus amount, that means the hot end is going to get closer. If the number is a plus amount, it means the hot end is going to get further away. So an easy way to find out what number works for you is to just download a bed level STL, start the print, then adjust the offset in 0.01 increments until the first layer is looking good. So for most people, I'd suggest starting with minus 0.01 and moving in as much as you need to until the first layer is looking nice. To help you remember, minus is down, plus is up. Now for me, I got perfect first layer adhesion with minus 0.07 offset. Now there may be a chance that this additional offset will make your print bulge. Thankfully, Creality Print also has elephant's foot compensation to help with that. Simply grab your calipers, measure the top, measure the bottom, then find the difference. Then add how many layers you want to use this on. I find that one or two is generally pretty good. Hope this has helped. See you in the next video.